The giant mirror would catch this? sunlight and focus the rays into a powerful beam. <laughs> this oh, this is a horribly inefficient way to attack cities. Would be aimed at cities and would ignite buildings and boil bodies of water. In order to do this, this thing would have to be several kilometers across, have 100% efficiency and 100% focusing somehow. Nazi scientists of actually course. drew up plans to build this Space thing. Mirror. The mirror would be constructed in sections, connected in orbit, and controlled by rockets. When they had V2 rockets that could just barely reach the edge of space. This is a bit like saying you're going to build a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier using paper airplane. It's mounted on the back. So you'd have very limited control on this very high orbit, meaning very short exposure windows. And this would allow them to aim the beam and destroy entire cities. Okay, if you're doing that, this thing would probably have to be about the size of the moon. And the energy needed to vaporize a city would be on the order of hundreds of kilotons of TNT for a small city. And nuclear weapons are just way more energy dense. Millions of watts per kilogram of mass compared to a few hundred watts in the case of a mirror with perfect efficiency. But they lost the war just a few months later, meaning it was never attempted. They would never get very far. This thing was bigger than the space station. And why would you build an orbital toaster oven when you can unleash the binding energy of a nucleus in the case of a nuclear bomb?